so I'm definitely not a hundred percent. I am probably sitting around 70, 60, 70. It's my cold has moved a little out of my chest and throat into my sinuses, but, but that's okay. Um, we got a blizzard. Yeah, we had a blizzard come through here. It's a nice, good storm. And uh, I remember my, one of my vlogs that I put out, I showed you that I bought a snowblower. And uh, we actually got to use the snowblower. And I wanted to just kind of go over a little bit about uh, who I think this snowblower is for, how it did, uh, and if, if we're even pleased with it. There, there it is down there. That's the well. There's the box. It's it's sitting in the shed. So, you're not going to necessarily uh, see an unboxing of it because, of course, we we've used it. But I'm going to talk to you about a bit about it. Okay. So first off, uh, we have been trying to buy uh, anything that we kind of can since we got bought our new house that's battery powered or electric. Uh, just just trying to do what we can for. The environment and things like that so whenever we don't need to buy gas based we try not to so uh, we bought a an electric uh, lawnmower for the summertime and now we bought uh, an, an electric battery powered uh, snow blower but we didn't really know what the snow situation was going to be like in this area so uh, we didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of money on a snowblower. This one was on sale. So we got it for, I think it was like $359 or $369 Canadian. Even right now it's on sale for like uh, $399 at Canadian Tire here in Canada. Um, and that's $200 off. So still a good deal. But I do think you need to know uh, what you're buying and who this is kind of for. Okay, so... Um, this is a 60 60 volt so it's actually pretty good in regards to power uh, 20 inches wide so uh, if you have a really big driveway maybe not going to be the perfect thing for you um, but uh, it is well, i want to say it's it's plastic right so you know you you have to you have to really know what you're buying so when we lived in our old place a couple of years ago, we had bought a used snowblower, gas snowblower, and you know everybody had talked to us. Oh, you want to you want to get this these gas snowblowers, and you want one that's all metal, and uh, because it's going to be super durable. And of course, we went online to look at these, and they're expensive, right? There, it was a thousand fifteen hundred dollars for the snowblower that everyone was like, oh, this is what you need. So um, we ended up at that point in time buying a used snowblower. So we spent, we still spent, I don't know, probably about $500 on a used snowblower. And it was good. You know, it had an assisted, an assisted drive. So, you know, you could put it in gear and it would, it would push forward for you, just similar to what our lawnmower does. Um, but it, it literally, it lasted like a year one full year before it had to go in for repairs i was like okay well now that's just silly so because of that uh we we really didn't trust i think buying a another used snowblower and you really can't buy a used battery one because they haven't really been out long enough for them to be used uh so again we didn't want anything overly expensive so this fit our budget and if we get more snow than what you kind of saw in the video just up to this uh, if we get more snow than that there's we we have a a card for someone that's local that'll come plow our driveway but really we just wanted something that if we got that you know couple inches four five six inches of snow uh that we could go out and clear the driveway without having to try to get somebody to come to the house because for one, who knows how long it's going to be before they get there. And if Mary has to go to work or Harley has to go to school or I need to get somewhere, uh, we don't want to have to wait. And our driveway is big enough that if you have to shovel, uh, it's kind of a pain. It's just it's big enough that shoveling just is not a great experience. Um, so uh, this this snowboard is actually doing really good. So again, you have to know, I think, what you're buying and you have to have... Um, 
you have to like in your head be aware of value or price versus quality right so you know you're you're buying one of the cheapest battery operated battery powered snow blowers that is currently out there right now um, you can get cheaper ones if you want the plug-in type but again on a driveway our size that's just we didn't that's just useless um, so our driveway we could get it done and we had about I'd say somewhere between four and six inches of snow uh, we did it on a charge uh, emptied the battery pretty much completely but doable um, if you got more than six inches of snow I'd be a little probably concerned that it <clears throat> was too it's just too high like the scoop on the front of the snowblower just isn't much deeper than that maybe you you probably could do six seven inches but anything more than that then i think you're kind of getting up to the realm of what this snowblower is designed for or is capable of i also think you want to realize how heavy the snow is in your area now this snow that we got i i would say it wasn't like this, the heaviest snow I've ever dealt with, but it wasn't light snow. It's very, hu I say humid snow, if that makes sense. It's sticky snow. My wife calls it a snowman snow. So it's good snow for making a snowman with or snowballs or stuff like that. Um, so it's not light. It's not pow powdery. When we used to live out in Alberta, you know, you could get a lot of snow, but it wasn't overly thick. So that, that snowblower could blow away pretty easy. Um, I read a lot of reviews on this before we buy it, and there was a lot of like, like one stars. And I don't know why, because I, I have this feeling people expect, and this is just my thoughts, people expect to spend, you know, $400 and get the quality out of a $1,000 machine. Well, you're, you're not, right? My expectations when I, when I pay the least amount of money is, that I'm not going to get the same quality out of a snowblower that's twice the the amount of money that this one costs. Does that make sense? You know, I, I want it to function. I looked at it when we went to buy it. I looked at the size and I was like, okay, so I'm probably going to have to take a few more sh strokes up and down the driveway because it's not as wide for sure. Um, it's also not power assisted so i'm gonna to have to push it down the side and if it's heavy you may have to kind of nudge it into the spots which you saw in the video my wife doing uh and there's a lot more me pulling it back starting it pushing it pulling it back starting it pushing it and everything's kind of really manual except for the fact that it's chewing through the snow um the scoop it's fine did its job we we cleared our driveway Plain and simple, we cleared our walkway, we cleared our driveway, and even at the end of the driveway where the uh, street plow had gone by, um, of course that gets a little icy and chunky, uh, it got through that. Now be aware, I think, if you were a person that wasn't necessarily home when this was happening and you know, you left in the morning and you came back 10 hours later and the snow has had a chance to be chewed up and melt and turn to ice and things like that, then the snowblower may have a bit more issue with it. Fortunately for us, I work from home doing this kind of stuff, so I can go out once or twice throughout the day or when the snow hits that point or when I see the snow plow go by and use the snowblower and get it while the snow is still in like a soft state, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, are we happy with it? As of now, I'm gonna say yes, 100% happy with it. Um, it's $400-ish right now. Uh, you can get them at Canadian Tire here in Canada. I'm sure wherever you are, they sell the brand. Considering the fact that the batteries are $250 for the battery, um, it's pretty amazing that we got the whole thing for $400, right? So um, be aware again, if you have a bigger driveway than what you saw ours, I would think you're going to have to use at least two batteries. <clears throat> so that may be something to put in the consideration of whether or not you want to go to a different snowblower because there are some other snowblowers that are in the same kind of size realm that sometimes you can get with dual batteries that uh, maybe, you know, a hundred or two hundred dollars more. But if you have to spend two hundred fifty dollars to get another battery anyway, it kind of equals itself out. So uh, we're happy with it. 
Mary loves the fact that she can use it and that she can literally carry it up and down the stairs with no issues. She carried it down the stairs when she was done. She could carry it to the shed in the backyard. Um, I went out to help a little bit. I was filming her because, of course, I have a cold and I wasn't feeling really good. But other than that, I think, I think it's, it's a good little unit. It's a good little unit for the price. Just don't expect to get a $1,000 snowblower for 400 bucks. Yeah, that's it. All right, guys. Uh, I'll put links to where you can buy this. I think you, can, you might be able to buy it on Amazon. I don't know. But we got ours at Canadian Tire, and I'll put links to that below if you're interested. And that's all. All right, my friends. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. Um, it's minus 12 today when I'm shooting this and Celsius. And tomorrow it's supposed to be plus 12 with flood warnings because we're supposed to get r rain. And because the weather is supposed to get so warm, uh, they expect all the snow to melt. So, yeah, flood warnings. What a crazy year. Crazy year. All right, my friends. I'm out. Uh, I shot a video today. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go sit on the couch. Later.